Welcome back to the channel guys. So today guys, I'm going to do my UEFA Nations League third place and final preview. So we're going to mainly discuss the final though. I will give a third place prediction just to be very, very brief. Let's talk about the third place game out of the way, right? So the third place game is going to be between Netherlands and Italy, of course. And I'm going to go with Netherlands to win. And the reason why I'm going Netherlands to win this is because I feel like for me, Netherlands is, a, is generally pretty clinical in front of goal, whereas Italy isn't. And I feel like Netherlands for me... As bad as they were against Croatia, I feel like they at least put up a better performance than what Italy did against Spain, right? So, it's going to be interesting. Um, like I said, Netherlands have not defeated Italy in the last several games. So, you know, Netherlands can finally get revenge. I'm going to go with Netherlands to win. I'll say 2-1. I'll say 2-1 win for Netherlands against Italy. All right, now we move on to the big one. The, the one you guys are here for most. Croatia versus Spain, the Nations League final. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I'm going to keep it real. This is a very difficult one to call. This could possibly go into extra time. And if it goes to extra time, you might have to fancy Croatia because Croatia are very good in extra time. See, let's talk about both nations, right? Croatia, for me, what they did against Netherlands was fantastic. They were absolutely brilliant against the Dutch. They were able to press and get the ball out of them, and they were able to score full goals, which is something that Croatia normally don't do. My issue with Croatia, though, is that we've kind of seen this before. Sometimes they have a huge win, and then the, the rest of the tournament, they kind of, like, ease off, you know? And so I don't think Croatia will score four goals like they did against um, Netherlands. Like they did. I, I don't think they'll score four goals against Spain. I just don't see it happening. You know, Adam Kramer is a player that I feel like will not have a great game, you know? Because the guy just came off scoring a goal against Netherlands, and so this is kind of he, how he typically does. He has one really, really good game, and then he just, like, goes for the next couple of games. For me, the important thing for Croatia is to make sure that their defense will be solved. I think the defensive structure is very vulnerable, especially with Novardio there in the back. I think they're very, very vulnerable. I think their center back partnership was a bit suspect. And you could see how Adamic Vita, the guy, is not at his prime anymore. And, you know, that's where my issue with Croatia is in that Spain, defensively, I think Spain are actually not that bad. I actually think defensively Spain are good. Norman, even though he gave away a penalty, I thought he was pretty solid. Laporte as well was decent, you know, and I just felt like for me, Jesus Navas, and then obviously Jordi Alba, I think the defense was assured, right? That being said, though, um, Italy didn't really test them as much, so, you know, maybe we shouldn't go off too much in that game. And I feel like for me, what's going to be, what's going to decide this game for me is going to come down to attack, you know, because both midfields are very good. Croatia, you have obviously Modric, Brozovic, and obviously you have Kovacic, whereas Kovacic, Spain, you have, obviously, Gavi. Then you also have Zubamendi, um, you know, Mikel Moreno, you know. And I just think that for the attack, is so difficult to call. It's a tricky, tricky match to call, guys. It's a tricky, tricky match to call, guys. I am going to go with Spain to win this. I think Spain will win this on the virtue that their defense is much better. And I feel like, for me, Croatia will do well in this game. I just feel like, for me, Spain will just have a large spell of domination. And I just don't see how Croatia can escape, you know. Um, I'm going to go with Spain to win. I'm going to say they win two goals to one after, um, I'll say after extra time. I think this could possibly go to extra time, and I think Croatia will put up a good effort. It's going to be very interesting, though. I'm really excited for this final. I want Croatia to win this more, to be honest with you guys, um, for Luka Modric. Unfortunately, I do think Spain will win this. So, like I said, man, let me know your predictions in the comments below, guys. Remember, guys, to like and subscribe. I, will, unfortunately, will not be able to do a live reaction to the game because I will be away. What I'll try to do, though, is maybe do, like, a YouTube short and maybe do, like, a quick video there at their house or something. So, you know, I won't be able to do a stream, but um, I will try my best to get um, to give you a res uh, response to the game or something. So, remember, guys, to like and subscribe. Turn on vacation to be no notified whenever I go out live and upload a video. Also, make sure you guys consider becoming a member of the channel. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Thanks for watching. Peace out.